guys today i'm going to show you how you set an etsy store discount or an etsy store sale or an etsy um, promotion so you can choose whichever one of those you want to do but i'm going to run through all of them so you get to decide so on your main page on your shop manager you'll have the option for marketing and then sales and discount this is where everything is that i'm about to talk about so you need to click on here on this page it gives you multiple options some of these are new um but i'll explain all of them so first one is um, join Etsy's sale event. This allows you to participate in Etsy's own sales. So for example, they have a home sales event I can set up here. It tells you the minimum discount. It tells you the recommended discount. So you can choose here. You can choose what qualifies. Is it quantity of orders that will qualify? Is it an order total? This is in um, obviously like revenue. You can choose however you want. Now, I don't, I don't want to do this right now, so I'm just going to ignore that. Then you have accept offers from buyers this one i believe is new because i hadn't seen it before this video but basically you can let offers send you sorry let buyers send you offers kind of like how a market would be and you can choose if you want to accept it or not so i can choose if i want to have receive all offers 40 30 20 however it's like and you know what i'm actually going to turn this on so i'm going to put this on all listings and i'm going to put it on 20 percent um, next thing we have, this is a major one, is run a sale. So basically this allows you to choose, however, you, you've got two options. You have free stand delivery, you could just take delivery off, um, take the delivery charge off during a time that you set, and you can choose domestic or international, or you can choose percentage off, which is the one I do, and then you can choose from 25 to however high you want. I don't know, maybe 99 might even work, I don't know. Maybe 100% might even work. Then you have although i'd hope not unless my master is not adding up then you have the option to choose where you want to do it everywhere all the countries are here as well you can choose you then have the time frame so let's say i want to do right a let's say i want to do a 30 percent discount for everywhere from today till tomorrow and i'm going to call this test one 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 I then get the options of doing all listings, I get the options of doing select listings, so you can choose if you want to do, for example, this. obviously this will have to be in your shop section, or you can search for specific listings if you want to do it that way. So let's say I've got 58 of these, and I, 53, sorry, and I want to put all of these on the sale, I can do that, but I'm going to do all listings instead, review and confirm. So, I want 30% off, yes, from today till tomorrow, yes. Well, what's left of today till tomorrow from the whole shop yep and that's the name of it the buyers won't see this because it's just a sale it's added by default so they do not need to know this um at the time of this video at least this is how it works and then you have your terms which is none and obviously all of this is subject to the policy that Etsy says so then you click confirm it gives you the option to share it but now your sale will be live i know my sale won't be on there because i've already got a sale on there and it's not overriding it if you click on this button i can't click on here because all of my actual sales are on this but on this page you will see all of the sales everything on here now obviously i won't click on it for the reason i just said but i'm going to show you the rest of the stuff on this page so now you have encourage bigger orders this allows you to for example do this save 10 percent when you buy two at the shop so I can do, let's say I want to give a 35% discount if somebody orders, let's say, five items. Um, actually, no, let's say I want them to order $50 and then I'll give them a 45% discount, for example, right? And it gives you recommendations here as well. And I want to start it from today for almost one month and I want to put it everywhere. I can do that as well. And then you'll click create discount here and then you'll be done. That's number two. Other thing you can do, other offer listings together for less this is sort of like making a bigger orders but it's more specific you can choose for example let's say add listing i want to do you uh you and you together and i want to save you buy these three together you get a 35 cent discount it would have been 6.60 but it's now going to be 429 i've already kind of got this on a different way but um this is a lot easier than how we used to do it which is where you like make a discount and then you'd um, promote it as being a bundle discount but now you can literally just add it on it's dead easy and i'm actually very happy they've done this but i'm not going to use it because i've already got my own system and then 
then you've got these here. These are interesting. So if somebody has put something in the basket and they haven't used it, you can choose to send them a discount. At the moment, I have a 30% on by default. If somebody has bought something and you want them to come back, you can send them a thank you discount, which goes to their emails. It says, thank you very much. Here's a 30% discount on your next purchase. As you can see, 12 of these were sent out in 30 days. And then you have a... Um, somebody favorite is something you can send a 30% discount as well or however discount you want I believe so I have a 30% here as well this one is um, unlike everything else this is like a really customizable one this is like just if you want to make a discount for someone or you can even have it for whatever you want but it's basically for everything else so this promotional code the buyers will have to know what this is to use it so for example this is the shop this is um what shoppers will enter at checkout if they do not enter this they will not get it so for example best thing to do make this number kind of complicated something like you know like that and maybe that won't work and then no one's going to be able to guess it and you may say that like let's say you have some special customers who come back all the time and let's say you want to give them a 60 percent off for as a thank you for them um because they're loyal customers you can then do that and you can set a minimum number of items or an auto total let's say the rule is if they buy let's say that if they decide to spend ten dollars they will get 60 percent off and i can set this indefinitely no end date if i really wanted to now nobody who doesn't have this code will know about this so i can send it to buyers um and if i wanted to i can always come back and delete this so that if they share it for example that other people can't use it but it's up to you if you want to do it that way now obviously i don't need that so i'm going to press cancel but that is pretty much everything on this page you have a lot of different options now and remember if you change your mind about anything you can edit or remove stuff in this tab here it will show you all of your discounts but i will not do that because you'll be able to see all the real ones i have on but you'll be able to see on your account so thank you very much i hope that helps